Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here, and welcome back to episode number two of my... I don't know, it's like my Scottish adventure, but I'm going to call it like the Scottish reform because obviously, hopefully, Scottish football is going to become like this big thing and we're all going to be happy about it and yay, great times. We are Gretna, as I mentioned last time. If you haven't seen the first episode, like, seriously, make sure to go back and watch it. I go through like the squad, which was non existent, and the plan for the series and what's going to happen and how the whole series is kind of going to work, kind of situation. Basically, this is going to be hard <laughs> that's all it is it's gonna be absolutely difficult if you remember we had a completely grayed out squad it's not completely grayed out anymore we're slowly progressively picking up players a lot of players that i have are, are like awful genuinely awful i have no idea obviously you can see there's a few good players here ollie haynes hey he's this kid this, this is the kid. He's got a value of 9k, so if someone wants to buy him straight away, they can do, because 9k would be really handy round about now. Uh, not about now. And a couple of other youngsters that are apparently extremely promising at this level. Especially this guy, Neil Williamson. He, he could be a legend for me, with that kind of finishing of 5. And look at that mohawk. That's a mohawk, isn't it? Uh, yeah, just look at that. It's fucking, it's insane. And his partner Scott Riley's just as good. He's, you know, he's a bit silver now, but apparently has promised to be like a world beater for this team. My best player is uh, David Reynard, the 29-year-old Englishman. Yeah, apparently he's a world beater at this level. So I'm feeling a bit more confident because I kind of starting to to realise and, and get together. Um, what kind of level of player you need for this if we quickly look at the transfers i'm not going to go too in depth because as you can imagine there'll be loads but for now there's just these four guys and these four guys are such great world beaters uh jamal lawrence here he's a superstar you know an absolute superstar um eddie fullwood another superstar there why hang on a minute right this is sorry i've literally think they've just signed these um, move to senior squad. I don't know why they would be be there because that's stupid. Dale Connor is the goalkeeper that you just saw. He's apparently fantastic for this level. I think it's really going off my team the star rating. It's really going off the team and how poor the team is. As you can see, we just brought in Jamal Lawrence, and we are going to play against Hillford today or Hillford, um, because I'm Yorkshire. Let's just quickly go to the schedule. So we won both our friendlies against um, that team, United, and North Ferriby. And then we played Hamilton, and we 2-1. We like, this was not terrible. They scored Dougie Imry. That's what we're going with. And Mike Muir, who who is he's a star in the, in the, in the making. This 18-year-old kid is just, he's going to be, he's going to be a beast. There's no doubt about it. He's playing so well for us. Um, but they did score in the 87th minute, which we're a bit sad because I was like hoping for a draw. But Hilford, uh, get, I'm guessing they're a team we should expect to beat. Basically, Hamilton and Martin are teams that we do not stand a chance against. Um, and Hilford and Howick are, are teams that I feel like we should beat. I don't really... I, I couldn't decide if I was going to live com any of this whatsoever, but I thought, why not do our first home game in this Betfred group north, um, this cup, and just basically get a live com out there and get another episode out there, and you guys can kind of see where I'm starting off with Gretna. Um, so, yeah, let's get straight into it. There's not too much to go through. I am trying the inter-control. Um, tactic that I use for Inter, it's so far, it's it is working. Um, well, to a degree, this team definitely can't put off like my Inter team. And as you can see, when you're coming over and you're looking at this, and there's literally Riley and the keeper, who are perfect in their positions. The rest are, are just just like god god awful. And uh, staffing, I haven't seen any staff. Um, we are slowly getting staff i signed an assistant manager and a coach manager no i'm sure i've signed a coach 
or maybe we're about to sign a coach anyway so I'm starting to try and improve them we got our first scout our chief scout Patrick Brown he's fantastic and the one physio so we're we're making the effort we're definitely making the effort to to start improving it's really tough though because like there's literally just me and then like three other guys that turn up that are, that are basically all coaches now I don't care if you're a scout, but they turn up to the ground, to, to the staff area, and we have such a great time. It's amazing. But basically, it's building a club from outside. There's nothing, because we've got nothing. And then you're scouting players, and I'm looking for players. And, right, so I found some decent players, and then they don't want to come to you. And it's just like, it's getting frustrating now, I think. Half the players I've looked at just don't want to come. I'm starting to plummet us way over the wage budget. I know that'll change once the season starts because there's there's money for victories um, and for doing well in the league. So I know that will change and, and hopefully the board will start to give me some kind of money. Because um, the balance right now is 282000 So the fact they haven't given me a transfer budget or any wage budget is actually really frustrating. But we're starting to plummet over it. But I can only offer the basic £130 a week. But as you can see, I don't really have a complete squad, so that just seems like it's just going to make the season tough. Um, but let's, let, let's like just head into this game against Hurlford and hopefully pick up our first victory in a competitive game. And everything's going to start to be alright, because I feel like we as a club can maybe start to achieve something. I don't know, it seems like it's going to be really difficult. This whole save seems like it's going to be really difficult. I'm toying with a 4 4 2 as well because I just feel like 4 4 2 is a team that gets played with like lesser level teams and, and, and crapper teams. Um, because you don't need, you know, it'd just be the straightforward tactic where this is quite, I'm expecting quite a bit from, from the players. Um, hopefully, the signs I've made so far are, are showing, showing up well. Wow, there's. Jeez, man, people have turned up for this cup. Gretna were at a home ground and people have turned up for the cup. This is fantastic. If you are enjoying the series so far and you like this, I don't know, different take on a YouTube series, make sure to leave a like. Uh, feel free to comment on suggestions and uh, ideas, tactics and whatnot. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with more. I also believe you have to click the bell now for alerts which I just think stupid if you subscribe to someone but if you want to tap the bell press the bell touch touch the bell I don't know it just sounds filthy but if you would like for notifications to come to you please touch the bell but yeah that's how it works now it's really frustrating because like some people who um, I watch constantly it doesn't give you notifications and you you know you don't come up in the sub feed the same as it used to do. It's just now like suggested videos, which just pisses me off. But that was a great first half of zero highlights, um, which was really enjoyable. Is something going to happen? I feel like we're playing so much better than Hurlford. I would like to make some match changing subs, but I can't because we don't we don't really have a bench. This is very good. Um, hmm. This is Ian Carmichael. There we go. Let's see what happens if you right. So you just you just awful. Aren't you you both just awful. Right. Okay. It's tough. It's tough. Tough team choices. Um, plagues me with hard decisions all of the time. Um, do I change? I don't. Th these are just grayed out players. It's just so many grayed out players. Building this squad has been so tough. Because I, really, I just want to use players that are my players. And are they going to score here? Right. Right. Penalty. Great. So we're going to lose to Hurlford by the looks of this. Although this is he's a class keeper. No, but not. That was a great penalty. And it looks like we're going to have a really terrible time 
in this cup. Um, and I'm just basically using the whole like the whole time of this cup to just try and get some players in, so that when the league starts, that we're not just going to get steamrolled for the full like the full season. Because I just don't fancy that. I just find it so difficult at the minute just to find players like just players that fit in to the squad or like actually make any sense um because everyone's just so awful like it, it literally everyone's just if you're trying this and you're trying like the, the bottom of the the tier in the scottish legs like it, it's just wow are these these teams are awful and because there's no money there yet it's just like just survived this year i feel like first year is, is literally in my mind just survived there's been one this is how great at football we are there's been one highlight there was one highlight in that game and it was them winning a penalty and scoring it there was no other hearts and i thought this was the one to live come because the hamilton game was quite interesting and we scored um a goal and it looked like we might get draw, so we're bottom. Wow. It, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. I don't welcome welcome to Scotland. It's have, have the weather's shit so far, and let's have a really enjoyable time with Gretna, and and lose a lot. It's going to be interesting. I, I feel like. This is going to be really interesting. I feel like I'm just going to finish this Betfred Cup off. If we get out of the group stage, then I would definitely live come again. But I think now we're just going to make the conscious effort to live come the first game of the season, which which is against Whitehill. Wel welfare? Whitehill Welfare. Right. Sounds interesting. Never heard of him. So we're going to live come that game, I think. That'll probably be the next game because Martin, I'm pretty sure we're going to go and lose against now. And Harrick, or Howick, um, we're pretty sure that that doesn't even fucking matter when we get to that game. So we will leave it at that. I hope you guys are enjoying me losing so far. Which, because I am. I'm having such a good time. But thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe, guys. Um, I'm sorry for a short episode because the live come was so rubbish, but these things happen in football you know I, I have no control over that ah so i'll see you in the next episode guys see you later